Alright, I'm not gonna lie. There actually was a time when I liked this movie. Back when I was young. And not very smart. You don't have to go while you got M.O. Yeah, I bet you know that I can't review this movie, so I'll get the guy who can. Why do I keep doing this? So, The Last Airbender is directed by M. Night Shame on Me, and it stars some people who nobody knows at all. So technically, since this takes place in the same world and kind of has the same characters, it's based on the TV series Avatar The Last Airbender. Honestly, there's not a lot that can be said about this movie that hasn't been said before, but I'm going to do my best to say as much as I can, because I have a good bit to say. Okay, let me start with the good. James Newton Howard, who does the score for this movie, his score is decent. Now, what else is good about this movie? NOTHING! Instead, let's get to the bad, because there's quite a bit. The acting in this movie makes the acting in the Star Wars prequels look good. Also, this is an expensive movie at $150 million, and the effects are some of the worst ever put to film. The action sequences are painfully slow, and there is no excitement whatsoever in them. Also, since this movie is a little more than an hour and a half long, and the TV series had, like, at least... I don't know, dozens, it had dozens of episodes, I don't remember, haven't seen it in a while, but it had dozens of episodes to develop character. This movie has zero character development. You know what it has instead? Exposition. Lots and lots of exposition. For anybody who doesn't know, exposition is telling the audience what is required for them to know about the plot rather than, let's say, showing them, or maybe showing some emotion. The cinematography for this movie is some of the worst I've ever seen. It never looks like it's the right kind of lighting and the right kind of direction, which has to be blamed on the director, M. Night Shyamalan. I, I, for I forget his name. The direction really is terrible for this movie. Some of the worst direction ever. Ever. What happened to those days of the Sixth Sense and Unbreakable? The sets look really cheap, probably because they are really cheap. There is a lot of whitewashing in this movie, which is especially bad when you look at the character designs in the show and realize they are completely different from the ones in the movie. Also, I don't think I saw this movie in 3D, but from what I've heard, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. So, overall, this is one of the worst movies ever made, of course. Why wouldn't it be? And so, because of a decent score, I'm going to give it a 0.5 out of 10. Never watch it. Never. Peace. My thoughts exactly. So um, I just feel like I wasn't very clear with something I said before. You know how I'd be doing a video a day. To be clear, that doesn't mean I'll do a review every day. It means a video, any kind of video, will be up on my channel every day. Also, the reason I did this movie in particular is because somebody I know tell told me that I give way too many 10 out of 10s and like 9.5s and stuff to movies, so I thought I'd review this to prove that I don't always do that. So if you like this, please subscribe and join the Tim Army.